Morris family. Welcome to the channel. I am Deborah. This is Prish Intuitive and we are looking at your weekly reading. So welcome. If you are watching this uh, in real time, we're coming up on a new moon solar eclipse. So it's really interesting because it's like right at the end, the cusp of Aries, right before the sun moves into Taurus. Whoop, whoop. Happy birthday, anyone who's celebrating at the end of this week. Wishing you lots of love and blessings always. I hope it's a fabulous celebration for you. So with that being said, new moon, solar eclipse, that talks about a lot of external change happening around us. Be really mindful to remain grounded. The new moon is square to Pluto and the vertex point, which really talks about like fear, <laughs> you know, challenges around changes that we have to make or that are happening around us. Maybe something's happening in your environment that's making you feel a little unsteady, a little uncertain, etc. Let's get into it, Taurus. Okay. Uh, sorry. There, there's such a glare. I feel like, an, like I need to get some readers or something <laughs> because I keep having to do that. All right. So this is really requiring your strength and to dig deep. So whatever is happening this week, I do feel like there is an element, like I just talked about, you know, where you do have to, um, uh, you know, kind of hunker down and really find your stability, really finding your grounding, whatever makes you feel balanced. It's going to be having those tools in your pocket so when there is a little bit of chaos going on, you can remain grounded, essentially. It's going to hit some wounding for you. Um, ancestors, they talk about our, our family, our parents, our lineage, etc. And, you know, we have those triggerings that we pick up from life, but then we have those things that are like from our family, from our home, where, you know, what the person's doing might even not be, I, I don't want to minimize it, but it's like, it ends up hitting something way deeper, right? We've all been in that position where we just get triggered and we're like, man, I don't know, I don't know why, I don't know what happened. But again, hence that concept of being grounded. And you know, the cool thing about the ancestors is a lot of it is about connecting to our lineage, um, any passed over loved ones. Maybe you do have a great relationship with your family, your parents, etc. It's a really good time to connect with those things, uh, the family, um, you know, your lineage that makes you feel strong and safe, whether that is in the physical world or you know, in the ethers. <laughs> so, and then get curious. I mean, I think there is a little bit of, to me, this is a lot about when we have to get out and question, question ourselves, why we do certain things. Uh, Aries got that card in that same exact spot. So you could have some Aries in your chart. But like I said, I feel like this is a lot about just like finding the answers more than anything to what's happening, what's going on in your environment, what you need to let go of and release. And then, so you can then reclaim, right? Reclaiming your strength, reclaiming your power. Maybe this is places that you make yourself lower or subservient to other people, places, and things in your environment. You don't put your wants and needs first. And not like I'm saying being a selfish person, right? But, you know, I think the bottom line is, and you learn this very heavily as a parent, like you have to put your needs first because no one else is going to do it for you. Wah, wah. No, I'm kidding. Um, but, you know, generally speaking, people don't always have the capacity to nurture, support you. And that's why we really have to learn how to do that for ourselves. And that really is what's giving you strength and sustenance, Taurus. Not by being strong or you got this, you're da -da 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 -da, managing the day to day. 
it's really about kind of hunkering down and finding a little bit more balance, a little more fluidity. And it is kind of coming through family habits, patterns, etc. Yeah, because it's really touching on your happiness. This element, and I love this too because the sun is about to move into your zodiac sign, right? And so anytime we have that sun and or we have the sun in that placement, it really helps us shine, feel great, empowered. I mean, like who doesn't love their effing birthday? They're the best. Without that day, we wouldn't exist. That's how I look at it. So you know, I think you know your intuition is definitely speaking to you, telling you whether it's through your feelings, your emotions, dreams you're having, just reflections, quiet reflections, nighttime, etc. You kind of know. I feel like you can feel it, you intuit it, but maybe you're not like verbally acknowledging it, bringing it into the present reality. And this is so much, like I said, just about your happiness and fulfillment. You might feel like someone else is taking that away from you. The emperor is Aries energy. It's also the quintessential like masculine energy. It doesn't matter what gender you are. It's all about like the energy, the vibration. Someone who has more of the control, the upper hand, dictates how things are being done, etc., and I'm not sure that it's like making you happy. I mean, I don't know. You know, I mean, you know, I think that we like to all be in control of our own lives. That's human nature. It's good to have a balance. Yeah, sometimes it's nice for people to make choices for you, etc. But we don't want to live our whole life that way, you know. And there is is some truth, some clarity that's coming in for you around this individual needing to be a little bit more um, rational about how you approach it. Removing the emotion is what the Father of Swords does. It's, it's asking you to sit down and think about this. Think this through. Yeah. Boom shakalaka. The hermit, which is the embodiment of taking time, you know, for yourself, i.e. what makes you happy, i.e. where you're going to find your strength, your endurance, your sustenance. Uh, the hermit rules the sixth house. It is the house of health and wellness, how we take care of ourselves on a day-to-day -day level, right? Making sure that you have... Um, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm hearing this as needing to put a little bit more energy towards yourself first. This person is combative that you're dealing with or this situation. It has its defenses. It's almost like making you work harder is what I'm hearing. making you work just for the sake of it, wanting to see how much effort you're actually going to put into it. And not really interested in, um, you know, helping out <laughs> is what I'm hearing. I'm sorry not to laugh at ill will because it's really annoying when, when people can't work together. They have two nines. Nines are this independent energy. Nine of Pentacles is kind of like doing their own thing, right? Um, Ace of Cups. So it's like very, I don't know. It's like, it's all coming to a head, right? It's all coming to a head. And I feel like you know this. And maybe it, that's scary because there's a part of you afraid to be a little bit more diplomatic and balanced. You got like all this air energy, Libra, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Ace of Swords, the Hermit is earth energy, but that is when we're like analyzing something, when we have to scrutinize, refine, etc. So Taurus, there really is this need for you or this call for you to take a step back and really just like look at what it is. I know sometimes that's painful, right? It 
it requires us to have strength. It requires us to look at some things that like aren't so fun that might make us cry or hurt our feelings. <laughs> you know, I love a good cry. Um, you know, but it's not fun to do, right? I mean, but I think that actually opening up your voice, acknowledging to yourself what it is, is going to help you move through this, reclaim your power, find ways to break the ancestral patterns, healing, healing those as well, right? Yeah, because, I mean, this person is on their own mission, right? Even with the Ace of Cups, it's all about giving themselves love, right? Ace of Cups is a singular energy, and they're blocking the Two of Cups, which is that love, that connection. And it's like, you know this. Like, I kind of feel for them, they like, I don't know, it's a lot of placating their ego is what I'm hearing, self-absorbed. And there is a little bit of a refusal to change, you know? I mean, I feel like it is going to come to head, like we talked about in astrology, 11-11 on the clock. The new moon brings in, the solar eclipse brings in those external changes. So really this value of not making changes, someone not doing the work, and, you know, someone not letting go, it's really keeping this situation stuck in a cycle but it's gonna have to move right and we're actually seeing this with a lot of the zodiac readings this week anything that we're not addressing or kind of like letting you know sit on the back burner etc is gonna be coming up because it's forcing that change to happen things are gonna get a little bit messy a little sticky probably with this person because they don't really like manage themselves or manage their emotion. Yeah. And so it's like, there's a lot, a lot of feelings that come out of the situation. And that's probably why you don't really want to, why you want to um, mess with it, you know, but I think your senses tell you what you need to know. It's going to be very hard for this person once you speak the truth because they're gonna realize it, right? I feel like right now they're being way too naive, ignorant, one, two, three, four on the clock. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, so just, it's like sequential, right? Watch the progression, watch the unfoldment, pay attention, reflect back to, you know, where it was when things began, etc. how things have evolved, what's been going on. Sometimes we do have to bring that scrutinizing eye like we find in Virgo, analyzing each component, each facet of the relationship or the situation to find the answer. Because that's exactly what you're not doing. You might be operating more from that heart space, wanting to love, nurture, Golden Crown is really tapping into, um, again, like our upper chakras, our spirit self, our awakened self, where sometimes we do have to know and let go of what we know is not, you know, in the same place as us, on the same level, vibrationally, not to throw shade. But again, it goes, I love this, it ties back to your self-worth, your value, what you believe you deserve. If someone's not giving you enough or a situation is not feeding you enough, right? Then we have to look back and say like, where do I think I deserve this? Why do I feel like this is okay? And it's hard because sometimes when we do care about person, place, or thing, we have to be a little bit more analytical, right? Like that King of Swords making decisions based on what we see, our gut instinct. There's your message right there, confirmation to let it go. That is actually bringing in the changes. Numerology 19 for the card, it leads us to 10, which is the ending, you know, and therefore the new beginning coming into play breaking that pattern, breaking that cycle. Easier said than done though, yeah, but it's like allowing your light to shine, 
not letting someone dampen that. When we put so much time, energy into trying to make something work, it really distracts from like where we could be <laughs> glowing, <laughs> right? Like whether that, that we want that in our career, our community, you know, however we feel like fulfilled in life, our family, our friends, you know what I mean? There's so many different spots that like we really can feel empowered and it helps us enjoy our life not when we're dumping in energy into something that someone can't really see or receive so i know these energies are not easy taurus i'm just sending so much love and blessing your way that you can fluidly navigate i hope this reading helped i'm always here to support in whatever way possible definitely give a big thumbs up if it resonated drop comments below let's build and grow the community thank you for all your support to the channel lots of love today Ooh.